This video is outlining the CSEP vertical jump protocol. Please note that there are a lot of different vertical jump protocols. They all vary slightly, and this one is specific to the CSEP path manual protocol. If we take a look at what the uh, requirements are for the test, we can see that in order to calculate our peak leg power and wattage, we need a vertical jump height in centimeters and their body mass in kilograms. So ensure that you get the participant's body mass or weight beforehand. We also can see that their vertical jump height is their maximum jump height minus their standing reach, and then we use that to calculate their health benefit rating. So the first thing we're going to need to do is calculate their maximum standing reach. In this next video on the right, you can see that we've taped off every 50 centimeters in order to make it a little bit easier to measure that standing reach. So with the participant placing their arm all the way up, you can measure to the nearest 50 centimeters or on the left all the way to the floor using a measuring tape. Have the participant stand slightly away from the wall that they're going to be jumping and touching and move their elbow in sort of a chicken wing to give themselves enough room. Then what you're going to do is have the participant practice the motion, noting that a specific difference in the CSEP protocol is a one to two second pause at the bottom of the jump in order to take the elastic component out of it. So with no counter movement, you have the participant jump and touch the surface. You'll note that it's kind of hard to keep track of exactly where they touched. A couple tricks for that is having the person put a tape loop around their finger or a little bit of chalk or lead so you can see exactly where they touch the wall. The vertical jump test happens fairly fast, so you have to ensure that the participant doesn't make these errors during the test and know what to look for. Ensure that they don't jump off the balls of their feet, that they start with a completely flat foot. Also make sure that they don't lean in or step into the test because this will give them a little bit of a height advantage. It's supposed to be a static test. Finally, and this is probably the biggest error that people make, is that participants usually want to start with a full counter movement. This is typical of other uh, vertical jump tests, but it is not what is called for in this protocol. So here's a proper jump. The participant starts, lowers into their squat, holds it for about a second, and then jumps up. Note that you're going to take three trials during this, and they should be timed, and we're timing here, about 10 to 15 seconds apart. Again, it's hard to see here because the person doesn't have tape on their finger, but ensure that you have some way of keeping track exactly how high they reach when they jumped, either a person watching it or that little bit of tape, pencil lead, or chalk on their finger to ensure that every trial is recorded. I should mention before we finish that any participant with a history of low back pain, osteoarthritis, knee pain, or any general musculoskeletal disorder should not be performing this test. And again, really ensuring that the participant lowers into that semi-squat, holds it for a second before exploding up to perform their vertical jump before you measure it. Finally, now we can take a look at calculating our peak power in watts. Let's say this participant weighed 59 kilograms and had a 42.5 centimeter best trial of the three. Again, you're taking the best trial and you're subtracting their standing reach from their maximum jump height to get that number. What we would do is we would work our equation out, um, summating those two, minusing the uh, constant or of 2055 to get 3,197 watts. We would then take that over to our health benefit rating, find on the chart where they fit in terms of their vertical jump um, wattage and according to, their, uh, according to their age, look up their health benefit rating, and then make a recommendation based on that. Thanks for watching this video about the CSEP vertical jump protocol.